YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today, guys, we are going to talk about this deck in the Theme Chronicle event. I would prefer just going with the Orcus because this has a lot of, like, fuel into the, the game or into your games, basically. Because it recycles back with the help of uh, your Galatea. Um, and most of the cards are basically, or can be sent to the graveyard just to float. It's easy enough. It's really fun. I tried Crusadia, but it just won't have it. It's fun playing Crusadia, but it's much fun to kaiju your opponent and then going for an OTK. Which in terms, kaijus are not really present with this festival. So, um, what we're doing here is just playing Arcus. And basically, I did a little bit of tweaking for this deck. So, like I said earlier in my pre previous video, uh, the three copies of Dark Prefer was really good. Because we were running the three copies of Arcus Nightmare. But tendency with that one is... You'll eventually draw the two copies of Nightmare and then you'll brick. So uh, it's really hard for that kind of issue here. So we're just running with two copies of Nightmare and then two copies of Dark Griffer. That will be really good enough. Um, we're also running the Danger Engine here because it's because I really want to dump cards to the graveyard. So if you have an Orcus card in your hand, then you just have basically have to use the Danger Monster to drop one of those cards to the graveyard. If not, you can spell summon one and draw one card. So that's still really good. It will benefit you quite a lot. Uh, we are just running with one um, Symbol Skeleton, really good card if it is in the graveyard. It will be a quick effect if you have the Babel to the field. Majority of the Orcus cards, if everybody knows this deck already, they will have a quick effect once the, fi the field spell is present. Now, for your extra deck, we're still running with the same cards that we already um, showcased in my previous video with the, with that one. You can check that one out. Uh, the three Galatea is really good. One copy of Longir, so one copy of the Orchestron or Orchestrion. Uh, Topologic Bomber Dragon and then the two copies of Ningir, so really good card if, if this is in the graveyard. With the help of the uh, Symbol Skeleton, you can just spell Summon the Ningir, so from the graveyard to your side of the field. Four, uh, send one card on the on your opponent's side of the field to the graveyard, so that's still a really good effect. We're also running Drill and Lockbird here because Drill and Lock is pretty good in, well, basically it's pretty good with the meta nowadays. So might as well gonna run Drill and Lockbird. Um, Ash Blossom and Maxi. There was a time that I went against uh, Mayakashi and it decked me out. So having to drop a copy of Maxi and then eventually if you drop a copy of Drill and Lockbird, you'll stop your draw. So if you haven't like encountered Mayakashi, you shouldn't drop like Maxi willy-nilly. Uh, but anywho, that is a deck profile for you guys. Uh, it is always pinned down in the comment section below if you want a deck list for this one. But so far, let's showcase one of the replays and then we'll check that one out with a live game showcase. Okay, so let's go for the replays. Let's go. All right, guys. So here we are with the replay and we have one Maxi, one Ash Blossom, one Harp Horror, one Gearsaw, and one copy of Nightmare. So Nightmare should be uh, in the graveyard uh, all of the time, basically. But we have one normal summon, which is Gearsaw, which is a really good starter for our deck. Our guy is going to dump a copy of Maxi here. Luckily, we have a, co a copy of Ash Blossom to negate the, uh, the Maxi. And we have our own Maxi for our next turn. Regardless, our normal summon here is Gearso because that is our only starter here that's going to be good. Our guy is going to dump a copy of Ash Blossom. Uh, so we can't dump any card to the graveyard. That's really sad. So what my only choice here is to summon the token to the field. And then try to link summon into a copy of... Uh, Cerberus. Cerberus will dump a card and then we can free to move with our combo afterwards. So that's still really good though. And also we're just popping the token. So in case he, our opponent is going to use that one. So Harpower is going to banish. So we will summon a copy of the Symbol Skeleton to the field. And we go into a copy of Galatea to the field. Use the effect of Galatea. Spin back one card from the banish pile and get the trap card for our own. Now what I can do here basically is just uh, go into a... What you call this? Go into a copy of Dingirso, but I think that would be like so irrelevant, I would say. So might as well just gonna go with a copy of Galatea so that we can have our Orcus Crescendo activated or in effect. Our guy is gonna summon uh, Lamp Lampsies to the field, which we know now that he's just gonna go for prank kids here. Pretty good deck, but yeah, if he, he couldn't stop Maxi, so basically we're still good. So we're gonna banish a copy of Symbol Skeleton Spell, summon a copy of Gears of the Field, dumping a copy of um, Harp Horror. Harp Horror will banish, spell summon a copy of Nightmare. And then uh, with a copy of Galatea, we get our copy of our Field Spell. So all our Arcus monsters will have a quick effect, which is pretty good. 
summon the Dingirs to the field, send one card from the field to the graveyard, and then link off into a copy of Galatea again. There we go. And with a copy of Nightmare, dump one card to the graveyard and increase the attack of Girsu. Uh, use the effect of the World 1 that we dropped earlier and spell summon a copy of our Horror Power to the field. So we deal some damage. Not, not lethal, but I think that's really good. And we are... I forgot to set the copy of Colby the Grave here, but needless to say, it's perfectly fine. Our guy is going to go for prank, uh, Fancies here. Use the effect of Galatea, and this is just for a follow-up of my next turn. But regardless, I think our guy just scooped here once we negated the effect. So, Crescendo is going to be activated, and that's basically the game. So, really good for this deck, uh, as long as you know how to play the deck. It took me like a while just to like uh, know this deck by far, because it's been a while since I've used this deck. Regardless, that was the gameplay. Let's go towards a live game with this deck, of course. So, let's go. All right, so here we are with a uh, with a live game. So let's see if this would be um, good on a live game. Because usually when I do this on live games, it's not really good on my side. All right, so we have one Harper, one Chusunoko, one copy of Return, and a copy of Ash Blossom plus a Drill and Lockbird. So really good against Maxi here. Uh, we can go for Return here. Dumping a copy of Horror. Send to the Graveyard. Are we allowed to draw two cards? Yes, we are. Activate Babel to the field. Uh, use the horror, of course. And then Spiral summon a copy of Gears to the field. With this, Gears is going to be activated. Sending one card to the grave. You know what? I'm going to go with a copy of Symbol Skeleton for follow up for next turn, I think. Mm, I think I'm going to go with Chushinoko here, or... Yeah, Chushinoko is going to be a good card. Hopefully, we, we won't hit Ash. Well, I didn't expect that, but yeah, it's still good. At least we have two cards that we can use. For our dump. Uh, Galatea to the field. And then Galatea will use the effect. Symbol Skeleton. Spin back that card. Set one card. We'll go for this one. Uh, Sure, yeah. I think we can just end our turn here. I'm not really like being the most optimal player for Arcus. But yeah, this is how I play the Arcus deck. It's been a while. So I'm sorry, guys. Uh, But yeah, our guy is going to go for... Yeah, I think that's all right. Mm, yeah, sure. Go. Uh, do I die here? That's my big issue here. And then, Monk of the Tenyi. Ooh, he's gonna bounce this card. Crescendo in the back row. Yeah, sure. Just bounce it. Then use the effect of a card. Spill summon. Oh, flip. Okay, at least that's not Muyi. That's okay. Oh, flip. All right, that's crazy though. Going for triple tactic talents to uh, to draw two cards, possibly. Yeah. Let's stop the draw. Uh, either you look at my hand or yes, sir. Yeah, look at my hand. That's it. What can you see there? World 1 is going to be sent back. That's okay. I don't want to really want to see that one. Now you have a choice. If you have a normal summon, just do it anyways. But as long as you can't draw any cards, we're good. Oh, he ended the turn. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we're good. Let's see here. Yep. Bounce that one. Get one card. Still good. Turn back to the field. Effect. Send that card. Activate the card. Mm. Yeah, I think that's still good. That's still good. There we go. 
Really good. Really, really good. Really, I should have gone with a copy of uh, Ark Rebellion here. That would be somewhat better, but I think that's still good. That's still okay. I'm satisfied, basically. Use this. Sacrifice the Nightmare. Or the monster in my hand. Either way, it's all good. Here we go. There. That's it. Use the effect of Nightmare. Uh, oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Huh? Who cares? Alright, never mind. Um. Yeah, that's okay. That was a bad choice, but should have gone with Orc uh, Dingersa first and then uh, the cards that we need. Uh, sad to say. Uh, are we have, do we have game here? No, I don't think so. Alright. Send that to the grave. Set that. I think we have game here. 262654, 54, 52 I mean. Go summon the monster. Uh, right, if, we're, if, we're get, if we're gonna get any beard here, it's gonna be bad for us. But let's see here. How many cards do we have in the graveyard? Do we have dark? No, we don't have a dark. Hmm. So that's okay. 1 8. 2, 1, 8. I think we have game basically. We have game. So 2 6. 2 6. And 1 8. Exactly. One. No, we uh, don't have game. <laughs> oh my god, uh, my math is not very good. There you go. Luckily, we have the symbol. So that is our games, boys and girls. Uh, Orcus is really strong. So, yeah, tell me your thoughts on the deck. I really love this, but it's not really that optimal in my type of gameplay. Even though it was really strong. And that is the deck profile for you guys today. And those were the replays. Hope you enjoy this kind of content. Like and subscribe for more contents like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.